Welcome to the warm-up. We are in Maria Stein. Talk with head coach of Marion Local Football, Tim Goodwin. This edition of the warm-up brought to you by Community Sports and Therapy. And Tim, 2013, 15-0 record, another state title, third in a row. Couldn't have gone better, could it? Uh, obviously, it was a great year for us. Um, you know, we had a lot of uh, you know, very talented kids on, on that roster last year. And you know, they, they worked hard and, and, and did, a, did a great job, and it was a lot of fun. Getting your 16th year here as head coach, how has the summer and preseason into training camp gone for you? Any anything different about this year? Um, yeah, not really. You know, you get into a routine, and you know, every every year has its kind of its uh, its routines and different things you do at different times. And, and you know, we're we're about on schedule. Uh, you know, we're we're fighting through a, a couple uh, you know unfortunate injuries here at the first. We've had a couple kids banged up, and hopefully we'll get them back. But uh, you know, it's been going good. Overcoming injuries is nothing new for you. Last year, you overcame a bunch, including some at the quarterback position when Adam Berkey went down. Does that start right now in training camp, being that resiliency and making sure that you have guys who can plug in holes when guys go down? Yeah, I mean, it's just a mindset, you know, and yeah, you, you do a lot of the mindset type stuff this time of year, but it's a year long thing, you know, where you're, you're just talking to kids and you're, you're, uh, uh, you know, just preaching the message of, of teamwork and you have to be ready and people are counting on you. Defense was such a strength for this team last year. Gave up just six points in the final three playoff games combined. So what can we expect out of the defense this year? Um, we're hoping to be very strong defensively this year. Um, you know, we got uh, seven or eight starters back off that team. We got numerous kids that have started now three years for us on that defense. So. Uh, you know, if you remember back in 2012, um, you know, we gave up more points than what, what we use, usually do, I and mean, it was because all those kids were sophomores. Well, now it's fat, flash, fast forward, it's 2014, now those kids are seniors, and hopefully we're going to, you know, kind of reap the benefits of our struggles a couple years ago. Let's talk about the senior class a little, replacing a strong one again, but that's how high school football goes. Always new guys need to come in and step up. Who are you looking to to kind of take the lead of this group out of the senior class? Oh, we look for every senior, you know, to, to be a leader. You know, we tell them every year, um, you're, you're setting the standard for the work ethic. You're setting the standard for, you know, the behavior on and off the football field. And, and you're showing the underclassmen how much your senior year means to you. And, uh, you know, they're going to take their cues from you. And, uh, you know, no matter how hard you work, the younger guys will be just a, just a hair below you. So, you know, if you want to drive, you got to, you know, work really hard so you bring them up with you. So, you know, that, that's what we preach to our seniors every year. And, you know, we, we got a very talented senior class this year, like I said, that, that's been playing a lot of snaps for us. The senior class has never not won a state title. How do you keep them from getting complacent or kind of expecting that result? You know, the work ethic has to be the same every year, I'm sure. Yeah, it is, and, and we're, we're very fortunate around here that, uh, you know, people, I think, have a very level head. Uh, and, you know, they know it's a team sport, and, you know, you're only as good as the person next to you. So, yeah, you know, we, we, we try to keep them humble, and I think their parents do a great job of that. You know, we're, we're just going out here. We're working hard every day, and as far as the players go, you know, they're just out here with their buddies having fun. All right. Playing in the MAC 8-0 last season. Do you do anything in training camp to prepare the guys for conference games, or is it more about just getting ready for week one right now? Um, well, actually, right now, we're not focusing in on week one right now. We are, we're, get, we're showing them in as many different looks as we possibly can. Uh, you know, we're, we just call it adding you know, tools in our toolbox. You never know when you're going to need a certain skill or a certain scheme. And right now, we're to, when you have all this extra time, you know, you're just trying to put all those things in, in your box for later on whenever you need to pull them out. Is there a player or a group of players who have really impressed you so far early on? Um, you know, the, the usual names, I think, uh, I think that, well, the names I think people would recognize, you know, th those kids are, are really leading us. And, uh, you know, J.C. Guttermiller really had a, a struggle as a junior last year with, with his knee, first of all, and then he was doing fine with that. And then he had a high ankle sprain that was really sidelined him. And he's looking good, and Hunter's back, and Doc is back, and, uh, we, you know, we got a lot of kids back. Three-way scrimmage against uh, Arlington and Bluffton on the 15th, and then a scrimmage against Jefferson on the 22nd. Will you employ some of those new tools in the tool belt in those scrimmages? Um, yeah, you know, we're, we're going to work on a lot of different things. You know, you don't focus in on 
on uh, really anything during the scrimmage. You know, a lot of times after the scrimmage, you'll tell the kids, hey, look, if this was a game, we could have done this every play if we wanted to. But, you know, so sometimes it doesn't go as well as what it could have in a game. But, yeah, we're, we're just trying to look on, you know, look at a lot of different kids. We're going to look at a lot of young kids this year uh, during our scrimmages. So it'll be a lot of fun for the coaches. New opponent this year, week two, Gabriel Richard Catholic in Michigan. You're traveling there. How did that come about, that game? Well, it, it was a struggle for us finding a week two game. Uh, you know, we, we were pretty desperate. Um, and, uh, you know, we had gotten gotten declined a whole lot of times uh, by a whole lot of different programs. And uh, finally we had, we had uh, a team that said yes. So, hey, it's two and a half, three hours away. We'll get on the bus and we'll go up there and we'll, we'll play football. Tough to find opponents when you're so talented and, and people looking for playoff points. They don't want to go up against you. And we're a small school. So, you know, it's, 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 it's tough when you're a good program, but you don't carry a lot of first level points with you. Opening up against Shawnee, then that game against Gabriel Richard Catholic, start the max schedule with New Bremen. Plenty of games you can see on WOSN for Marion Local this year. That Shawnee game is one, home against Anna on October 3rd, the 10th against Coldwater, and then their final game of the season against St. John's. Coach, quickly we'll finish up with what's one area that you want to see the most improvement between now and that week one game? Well, I think for me, uh, I, want, I want to see our offensive line coming together. Um, we lost three seniors off of that offensive line. Um, you know, we had a, one of our seniors is, is banged up right now. So we're playing a lot of young kids there. I got a freshman in there, a couple of sophomores we're looking at. So uh, for me, I, I need to see five guys that are coming together and going to play, play well as a unit on the offensive line. Flyers looking to get some experience in the trenches here in training camp. Time for a break on the warm-up. Thanks so much to Coach Goodwin for sitting down with us. When we return, Mark Koontz returns to talk with some of the Flyer players here on the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. I'm Mark Kuntz, joined now by three of the seniors on this Marion Local Flyer, three-time defending state champion football team, Dustin Rethman, Ryan Bruns, and J.C. Guttemiller. Guys, you're familiar with this program. You've been around several years now. Does this feel any different going into your senior season, Dustin? Um, not really. You know, we still got to come out and practice and work hard every day. The only thing that's changed for us is just leadership, showing more leadership for the young guys because – We've been here before. We kind of know the plays when they're installed the place. We just got to help the little guys out. Ryan, what are some of the ways you're doing that leadership? I mean, obviously you're trying to help out those younger guys. Is that something that extends even off the field as well? Uh, yeah, definitely off the field. Uh, if they're having trouble memorizing their plays or something, you can definitely help them. And one of the bigger things that we try to do is lead by example. So. You know, JC, earlier Coach Goodwin talked about how, you know, oh, a couple years ago we struggled. Well, you've won three straight state titles. Talk about how you struggled a little bit last year with the injuries. I guess the first question is, I know you're, you're feeling better towards the end of the season. Fully healthy now, too? Yeah, I'm 100% now. You know, that brace kind of held me back a little bit. But, you know, I fought through it and uh, had practice this summer, you know, and caught back up with everybody else. So it should be good this year. Hunter Wilker kind of stepped up last year as well, having both you and Hunter in the backfield. It's got to take a little, ease a little bit of the burden off of you guys. Yeah, he's definitely a big help to us. Dustin, speaking of injuries, we know Adam Berkey went down last year. Was that almost a little bit of a blessing in disguise, allowed you and some of the other quarterbacks to, to get some playing time in the heat of the battle? Yeah, you know, with a player like Adam, I mean, so good, started the past three years. You know, it was tough to step up and take the challenge, but I think it helped me this year just getting some varsity experience and some big games. So I'm hoping to, from those experience last year to take this into this year to help me. Ryan, you guys have been in the state semifinals seven of the last eight years. How do you battle complacency? How do you instill the, into these younger kids that it's not just going to happen? we got to work hard now in order to get rewarded in November. You know, every day we just come out, and it's not about the future. It's about what tomorrow is and working hard today because if you don't work hard today, you aren't even going to get that chance to get in the playoffs when it comes season. So you just have to work hard every day. 
JC, Coach Goodwin talked about how you're not necessarily focusing in on an opponent right now. You're, you're just trying to get everything ready for the season. But you've got week one. It's coming up rather quickly. Home game for Sean A. What do you guys need to improve on the most before the Indians come to town? Um, I think we got to focus more on our offense. You know, our offense line, we had some uh, big key guys that left last year, and we have to fill those positions in this year. All right, we're going to need to take a short time out here on the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. When we come back, more from the Flyers here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. We're joined now by three more of the Marion Local Seniors, Nathan Heckman, Joe Schwederman, and on the end, the MAC Defensive Player of the Year last season, Jacob Kunkler. Jacob, do you come in this season maybe with a little bit of a target on your back as um, a Defensive Player of the Year? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, linemen like to come out and get me then, you know. Does that, is that something that maybe motivates you over the offseason? Oh, uh, yeah, it definitely makes me work, want to work a lot harder. Joe, what's this team like? I mean, you guys have been together a while. You've had a lot of success. You guys have grown up with each other. It, we hear it all the time. We're like a family, but it's probably literally like a family for you guys. Yeah, we've been together a lot. About six years is our sixth season. So we're pretty connected on defense. We've all been playing about a year. About all of us starters are coming back, so pretty close. Nathan, you're on the line both offensively and defensively. You've got two good running backs behind you with Godemeller and Wilker. Having those, that type of talent in the running in the, the backfield, does that put more or less pressure on the line? Uh, I'd say more because if they're not having a good game, it falls on us, and we have to do good so they can do their best. A couple of non-conference games, and we get right into the MAC schedule as you guys open up at home against Minster before traveling to St. Henry, and Anna comes in in week six. We got the non-conference games, but Nathan, what MAC games you've got circled? Obviously, Coldwater's defending state champion. You know you're going to have a tough battle with them. What other games are you looking forward to in the MAC? Uh, definitely Coldwater and St. Henry. Um, going to look at Anna again next year. They're a real big team, and they gave us a tough time last year. So I'd like to play that game a lot better this year too. Joe, so much postseason success. Do you have to really instill it into the younger kids that it doesn't just come naturally? That you guys have to work hard. Yeah, you have to lead by example. You got to work hard every practice and get better every day. Jacob, what do you think you guys need to work on the most between now and in the opener against Shawnee? Um, uh, us just as seniors, a lot of leadership, just leading by example and stuff like that. Goals for this year? Uh, win state, obviously. <laughs> you know, they say it's easier to win a state title than it is to win a MAC title. There's only one MAC title, but you can win a state in three different divisions in the MAC. Is that you guys have won a couple of MAC titles? Does it feel better to win that state title, or does the MAC title feel better? Uh, well, that's tough to that's that's a tough question. There are a lot of good, really good teams in the MAC and Coldwater and St. Henry, Delphus. See a lot of them guys in the postseason too. So I'd probably say the state title by just a real little bit though, because you got to play some different teams, bigger stage. Marion local, they've got the state titles, they've got the MAC titles. That's going to wrap it up for us tonight on the warm up. I'd like to thank all of our guests, including Tim Goodwin. From Matt Fickle, I'm Mark Koontz. We'll see you next time on WOSN.